got contact dermatitis on your face? Or not contact, some kind of, whatever it is when you use something, like a product that makes you break out. Okay. I got that on my face. That the other day. That sounds terrible. Yeah, it sucks. The other day I was putting makeup on to take some Polaroids. Yeah. And it was fine. And then I smeared it on my face. And then, like, I broke out. <laughs> so stupid. Don't I, smear. Yeah. The moral of the story is <laughs> don't smear makeup all over your face for Polaroids. Word to the wise. Yeah. Yeah. How did the Polaroids come out, though? Cool. I have, I think, I have a couple of them. <laughs> That's Bill's in friends. Vegas. He is. What's he doing there? A uh, bachelor party. Oh, oh, jeez. I don't need that. We have raw. Do you remember what's going These on? These look like surveillance reports. We had to. We had it to look at the stuff. Leonard was investigating Carl, Katarina, and Maya. The museum, the junk heap, and the apartment at Mamir Road are all mentioned as locations of interest. Leonard must have followed them around town and documented their activities. There's not much new to me in here, but there's mention of multiple tape recordings. Maybe they can offer some other clue to the killer. I need to figure out some way to play that tape. Didn't was there a tape player somewhere? Yeah. I think in the lab. Yeah. So the contact dermatitis or whatever it is that's on your face, does it hurt? Does it itch? It doesn't really feel like anything. It's just annoying. I sent you one of the Polaroids. It's hard to take a picture. Yeah. I think it was from the lipstick. That's what I smeared the most, and I hadn't used it really before. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Don't smear lipstick on your face. Wow. Wow. Snapshot right there. Yeah, it seriously is. <laughs> Maybe it's not here, maybe it's a different place. Maybe it's her apartment? I don't know. That combination I'm gonna braid my hair. Can you hear me? I can hear you, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, it's somewhere else. It maybe I don't think it's her apartment. The one with the plants? You don't think so? The one with the lemon? Oh, you mean um I know what you mean. Yeah, the. I want to yeah. see Katarina's apartment, but I don't know. Maybe not. But the other person's apartment, where the nutrient supply. Yeah, nutrients yeah. were. Not the Katarina. That one. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever's apartment this is. What the ass? Some kind of air. Not sure what. Uh... Hmm. I don't. Where would. I don't think it's in the museum, but. It could be, maybe. though. This is all. It's old tech, so maybe. Right. Station. Here we go. A few different machines for working with. Boom. This tape is in pretty bad shape, but I might be able to do something with this machine here. We could have been looking around. All for right. A long Looks time. like the machine is on a line yep. of tape. Maybe I can reduce some or all of this noise. Oh, jeez. Metal clank. Yeah, but... 
I think I need to work with smaller sections of the tape by using those two yellow silk. Oh. Gee. Oh. <laughs> So it can only be the one rain or wind. Yeah, so it can filter that. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh shit, okay. wait to be done with all I can't shake the feeling that someone is onto us we've been careful you're imagining things Carl <sighs> maybe I can't wait to be done with all of this and just go be a family me either my love me either did you get the package yes had a look inside CPUs neural cores major third degree violations I don't like it any more than you do but it will keep Maya off our backs for a while Fuck, Cap- Mel. It's too hot. Terrorist classified hot. By definition, we are terrorists now. Don't be dramatic. We'll keep our heads down, let Maya have her fun, then eject from this whole mess. <sighs> Things used to be so simple around here. Hmm. Okay. What do you think about this? This, this anti-CPU AI... Interesting. Mentality. If only I knew where it was recorded. I feel like I want to know what happened to cause such a... I mean, we kind of know what happened, but... Like, what really happened? Like, what went crazy? And why are they so resistant? Dirty laundry. Presumably... I don't know. You know? Something they, must have happened. Like, oh, that led to the downfall, so therefore God doesn't want it you know i don't know they don't seem very like yeah religious cult yeah i don't know An electronic herbal tea a big buck various tools equations of some kind i can't make sense of them hmm. i don't various I technical drawings some of them look similar uh. to the an electronic heads a wall filled appears to be a wireless data reader of some kind okay. hey. cool. yeah Yep. Would you say we learned anything? Um. Well, they were excited about becoming a family, and they were nervous about being terrorists. That's true. I don't think that we've really learned anything new, per se.
Nobody's ever out here anymore. <laughs> you'd think a strange you'd hang woman. Out there. It's nice. I would totally hang out there. Can you answer? I suppose. Do you know anything about the murder of Carl Oscarson? Not really, just hearsay. I'm sure you've heard it all before. Do you know any- No, I re What do you know about the conduit? Uh, you mean like, for electricity? No, it's an organization. Pro-AI. Oh, never heard of them. Do you know Rolf, the plant master? Sure, he brings our gardening waste to the recycling center every week. He's kind of an asshole, though. Always seems to be trying to rip <laughs> it off. What Back do you in think person. Of oh man, he's hilarious. But some of his robots really give me the creeps. <laughs> What's your view of Dr. Pearson? He's as weird as they come, but everyone knows that. He's a fine doctor, anyway. He is a bit strange. Yeah. What's your opinion on Gabriel? I couldn't say. I've had very little contact with him. Gabriel. Hmm. What do you think of Stina Ruth, the councilwoman? Never met her, but I'm not much for politics. I have enough to worry about down here in the real world. Did you know Maya Strand? I didn't, but I wonder how the museum will recover from her death. She was the driving spirit of that place, and I can't think of anyone who'd be willing to pick up the reins. Do you know hmm. Katarina Berg, the teacher? No, I have Sounds no like idea who that is. <laughs> yeah. Did you know Carl Off? A little bit. We both grew up. He seemed like the last person you'd think would get murdered, though. Wouldn't hurt a fly. What's your opinion on Commissary Anderson? I normally don't have much contact with the police, but from what I can tell, he does a fine job. Okay. Hey. Great. I'll let you get back to your. Okay. Yeah, I wonder. You know, it's, it's an outstanding quality. The genre just it's, must be tough to sell games in, you know? It really, I don't know why. It's such a fun fucking genre. Yeah. And it's tough, like it's hard. This is a hard one. Yeah. Oh yeah, the sample. I had some more things yeah. to ask. Shoot. Okay, no, what's your opinion oh, on yep. the gardener? Uh, I have nothing but respect for natural medicine, but Ooh. that man is a danger to society. If I had a grain of sand for every time one of his patients came to me for proper medical treatment, I'd be living in a desert. Damn. That's evidence. Recognize? No, but it looks like my kind of book. I've always been fond of pre-collapse literature. That's enough question. Okie dokie. <laughs> Here's some random shit I don't really care about. Can you let me know what you think? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had pizza last night for dinner. Any thoughts? It seems that Leonard was investigating <laughs> Carl, Katerina, and Maya. The museum, the junk heap, and the apartment at Mamir Road are all mentioned as locations of interest. There's not much new to me in here, but there's mention of multiple tables. Maybe we can go to the junkie. Oh, maybe. There's no reason. He looks busy. Oh, 
You're back. Sure am. I need to pick your brain about a few more things. Okay. What's up? I found out that Leonard Dahl was a member of Epos. Really? Yes, really. Anything to say about that? Good riddance, I guess. Epos are a bunch of assholes. That so? Happen to hate them enough to shred one of them to bits? No. Oh. Whoever did that is a sick person. Yeah. Doesn't Do sound know like Ross, us. The gardener. I know his name and occupation, <laughs> but that's about it. And like she did threaten to, you know, or she did kill us multiple All right. times. I got what I needed for now. Yeah. Good. That's true. Maybe I should. Show her the book. Have you ever yep. seen this book before? Nope. Never been much of a reader. Which, I guess, makes my teaching completely hypocritical. Anything else we can show her that make her nervous? Surveillance reports. It seems that Leonard was invested in the museum. There's no That's evidence. All right, I'm going in. Okay. Put the gun down or Looks like an apart. Maybe I should show the evidence to the commissary. Oh yeah, the new stuff. A thermos. Presu I already. Ah. I had a few questions, Commissary. By all means. So it turns out that Leonard Dahl was a member of EPOS. That's disconcerting. Do you suspect that the church is connected to the murders? Not anymore. I infiltrated their compound, and nothing indicates that they had any prior knowledge of the killings. I see. That's a relief. It is? Well, a whole organization committing murders would be a hell of a lot more difficult to deal with than a single person. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, yeah. You're right. True. What's your opinion on Rolf Dahl, the plant master? Oh, oh, don't get me started on that troublemaker. He's always up to something. Yeah? Like what? Anything that will make him a quick buck. Smuggling and handling of stolen goods, usually. Want me to look into it? No need. You have bigger fish to fry. We can handle Rolf. Check this out. It seems like Leonard was surveilling the other murder victims. Huh. It appears he wasn't a mere victim after all. Yeah. The stalking has to be somehow connected to the killings. Mm-hmm. Have you read this? Can't say that I have. Tolstoy is one of those pre-collapse greats, isn't he? No idea. The book looks pretty damn old, anyway. That's all I needed. Very well. Looks like a log. I don't need to look that. It's true. I don't think I. I don't think I. Ugh. I want to go to Rolf's house. Yeah. See what he's got going on. I bet he's got some cool plants. Hello again, Gabriel. Hey there. Can I be of assistance? Do you know Rolf Dahl? <laughs> you could say that. I've stopped counting the number of times we've hauled his ass to jail. Oh, he's a troublemaker? Yes, ma'am. A slippery one. 
but one of these days his luck will run out. He doesn't seem like... All right, I'm... Good luck out there. He'd be a slippery one, I don't know. He's old. He just, he hasn't moved, he just stands there. He's just hanging, he's just like, doing his job every day. Yeah. All day, cleaning. Breaking. I got what I needed. I'll leave him to his grief. Grief. Well, the poor man. Can we show him something? I got what I need. Maybe Rolf likes to read books. I got what I I got what Ah. I got I got I got I got No, we can't get my name. No. I think it's safe to assume Leonard Dahl was somehow killed. Katarina claimed that the conduit in Nordson was a one-woman operation, which died with Maya. Maya, the first murder victim. Carl Oscar's. What to do? I have no idea. The Kingdom of God is Within You by Leo Tolstoy. A number of pages are more. These look like surveillance reports. It seems that the museum, the junk heap, and the apartment at Mamir Road are all mentioned as locations of interest. Leonard must have followed them around town and documented their activities. There's not much new to me in here, but there's mention of multiple tape recordings. Maybe they can offer some other clues. Hey, do we listen to the other tapes again? Yeah, we would like, do that. Like, what are we missing? Maybe there's another tape hidden in. Oh shoot, I'm down a tape. I think it's maybe it's still on the thing. Maybe you didn't take it out. I can't shake the feeling that someone is onto us. We've been careful. You're imagining things, Carl. Maybe. I can't wait Chimes. to be done with all of this and just go be a family. The falters? Falters. Me either. Did you get the package? Yes. Had a look inside. CPUs, neural cores, major third degree violations. I don't like it any more than you do, but it will keep Maya off our backs for a while. Fuck, Cap. Mel, it's too hot. Terrorist classified hot. By definition, we are terrorists now. Don't be dramatic. We'll keep our heads down, let Maya have her fun, then eject from this whole mess. <sighs> Time to have a chat with Balto, perhaps. Yes, because he's got the wind chimes. Funny guy. <laughs> That's evident. I don't need to. I'm off. Take care. Shit. <laughs> what are we missing? Oh, those must be the chimes I heard on Leonard's tape. That means Carl and Katarina were here when they were recorded. Something taped here under the bench. Oh my god. A tape recorder. Nice. This must be what Leonard used to record Carl and Catalina. There's still a tape inside. Crap. Looks like the recorder is. Okay. Well, you know. There we go. <laughs> but I wonder. 
wonder if Alter was smuggling those CPUs. Right. It seemed like it. Let me worry about Carl. I'll find a way to make him see the value of our cause. He's a liability, Katarina. It's only a matter of time before he figures out our true plans for the vessel. Maya, just don't call our child that. What? Vessel? But that's exactly what it is. A vessel for Holdra. Oh. Don't get emotionally attached. We must put our own selfish desires aside. How many children can she not save? How much suffering can she not end? I know, Master. It's just hard. What if something went wrong? What if this is all for nothing? You need to have faith, sister. Ever since I was little, I have sung to the tune of these machines. Now, is your wrist implant working as expected? I think so. It doesn't itch anymore, at least. I'll run a diagnostic later. I also put in a little surprise. Let me guess, a bomb? Is that sarcasm? It doesn't befit you. No, a fake biometric signature. Oh, uh... for the city trench coats? Why would one of them ever come to Nordsend? It's just precaution. We won't remain here forever. I haven't gotten us this far by avoiding contingencies, have I? I suppose not. Katarina played me good. She is one of them. I must go and confront her. Really? That's the immediate course of action? Yeah, just thinking about that. Yeah. I'm surprised you can't in this. I guess she doesn't really have a lot of walking to do, but she kind of does. She kind of does. Ignore me. <laughs> this fridge door. I have a bad feeling about this. Same here, but I'll be careful. I promise. If you say so, honey. I guess I don't need to say it because it's just going to let us restart. Right. Oh, Katarina? Shit. Huh? If someone is there, show yourself. Katarina, wake up. She has no visible injuries, but her pulse is extremely weak. Something must have happened. I need to go get help. Do you think it was poison? From what I can gather, some kind of brain trauma has put her oh. in a comatose state. Oh, God. Damn. Can you determine the extent of the damage? Difficult to say, which is typical for most brain injuries. She could wake up in five minutes, she may never wake up at all. What could have caused it? Could someone have done it to her? It's theoretically possible that she suffered a stroke, but her symptoms are eerily similar to victims of sophisticated interrogation techniques. Interrogation techniques? Like what? I'm no neurologist or nanoengineer, but from what I learned in medical school, there are advanced torture devices and energy-based weapons that can cause symptoms like this. All of them illegal, of course. Your colleagues at the Bureau may have more information about the subject. I see. I will consult my contact here in Nordsend. Perhaps she has some knowledge on the matter. Very well. 
I will remain here overnight and monitor this woman's vitals. Good. Thank you, Doctor. Stay frosty, Gabriel. Whoever did this to Katarina may decide to come back. I'll try, ma'am. Be careful out there. You run is drawing near. You run. You didn't hear? The storm. That's what people are calling it. Oh. Must be a big one. Okay. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Jeez. No Stina. Quite a mess. Could be caused by the storm. Or. It's Stina's scarf. Oh. Dina, what the hell? Sorry, kid. Can't That's let you stand one. in my way. But why? <gasps> Damn it. Why'd you have to get so close? Okay. No, this wasn't supposed to happen. Hold on, darling. I've got this. Hmm. <coughs> Damn. The strain on my blue to keep me alive must have knocked out the ox. I've never felt this cold. I need to find a way to heat myself up before I get hypothermia. Jeez. Hmm. Damp through and through. I'll need to drive. When we were looking at the notebook and we were seeing all the names earlier, I was thinking like, who is the most likely person? Yep. Yep. Right. Right, exactly. You can't go in that cave. It's a shallow cave, but I should be able to take shelter from the storm. This area in front of the cave. Firewood. This straight stick would work well as a spindle for a friction fire, but I'll need to assemble kindling and firewood in the spot first. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> a large branch. Damp and not ideal as firewood, but could be part of a shelter. Damn, it's too tough to. Well, where's the rest of your shed? A large branch. A large, a large, partially so. Pretty intense. You lost all your stuff? Like your knife and everything? Yeah. I could follow the stream back to... Oh, we know you Oh, yeah. I hate to do this, but it's a matter of survival. Damn, too much wind from the east. Oh, my God. A large brand. I don't think anything. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Huh. Yeah, you can't take the branches down. Pretty intense. Look. Right. I could fall. It's a shallow cave. The firewood and kindling are set up now. 
I should try to start. Oh. Damn. Too much wind from the east. I need to shield. I don't think. A large. That combination. That action doesn't seem. <laughs> After you hit branch, the second part. A large branch, damp and not ideal as firewood, but could be part of a shelter. She said oh, before, I can't a large branch. Okay, okay. Strength. You can't know how many strength. No, that's right. We no. lost it. A photo of cat. Yep, you lost that too. What? What? Oh, there we go. Oh my god. <laughs> I've gathered a few dense tree branches. Oh my god. These could become a wind shelter. That combination. Is there any like thing now that's. Yeah. Find a presentation that Right. The firewood and kindling are set up now. It's a shallow. It's the tape found in the tape. It's the. <gasps> yeah. I might be able no. to tie it all together. Oh my god! I didn't think it would be real. All right, mm -mm. that should catch any wind coming from the east. We know how weak that tape is. Mm hmm. Remember last time we went camping? How could I forget? What didn't go wrong that weekend? Well, we were never hit by any meteorites or struck by lightning. But other than that... <laughs> At least my friction fire skills have improved. I never thought all that survival training would ever actually pay off. Avoiding death by freezing may have been a decent incentive. You could say that. As much as I enjoy your company, I'm not quite ready to cross over to the other side. Looks like the storm has subsided. All right. I should try to make my way back to Nordsen. I was lucky to find good shelter so quickly. I may not have survived the storm otherwise. Ow. There's that familiar feeling again. Back online. I see yeah. to have developed an ability to regenerate wounds. Likely due to the trauma last night. No sign of my previous augmentations, though. I may need to replenish my blue to get them back. Looks like we're going to be in danger. Mm hmm? So, the conduit. They're trying to create an AI superintelligence. Looks that way, yeah. I can see the appeal. An AI singularity would be a source of immense power. Such a being would become like a god, right? It would have the power to do anything. Probably. I think it's way beyond our understanding. It might even be beyond our imagination. Hell, it might even be able to bring me back. The real me. What? I haven't been on the ground for that long. I could be revived with sufficiently advanced technology. That's... Alex, even if that's possible, you know I couldn't take that risk. It's way too dangerous. For everyone. That's easy for you to say. You're still alive. You can still oh. breathe the air and feel your heart beating. I need to get a grip. This is just me talking to my subconscious. He's never coming back. 
Pull yourself together, Vera. You have a job to do. Oh. Jeez, I'm so far away. I think the opening shot. Hold it, Agent. Whoa, easy. Calm down. What's going on? You're under arrest. If you resist, we'll have to use force. Gabriel, you're better than this. It's Dina, right? She's manipulating you. I'm not gonna tell you again, Agent. Be quiet and come with us. You knew we would end up in jail? Yep. It seems Dina got the police on her side. I need to get out of here. Agent England, don't be alarmed. I'm here to help. Thank God. What on earth happened here? Long story, but Councilwoman Ruth abused a legal loophole to force me to step down. Gabriel's taken over the police department. She claimed that you were a secret conduit member in cahoots with our local cell. She said that you murdered Leonard as retaliation for the previous murders. I didn't believe her, so she had me pushed out of the department. It seems our Gabriel was more receptive to her suggestions than I was. Damn. I'll have to try to clear my name when I get out of here. I can't possibly stop her if half the town is against me. I concur. I'll go make sure the lobby is empty, but after that... Quiet! Somebody is coming. Go! I'll try to find a way out without hurting anyone. Hi again. You up to something, England? Not a thing. This place is kind of lacking entertainment, you know? Yeah, I get your point. I'll see about getting you a magazine later, okay? Thanks. Uh -huh. Hey! He's ignoring me. A single glass shard. Yep. This is gonna hurt. <sighs> What the hell? Jesus! What did you do to yourself? Hang in there! I didn't know she was going to do that. What the fuck? She's like, oh, I just commit suicide. Mm hmm. I don't see how it requires a key. Hey, he's ignored. <laughs> I could, but I doubt my empty. It requires. I should be. Able... Okay, this is this is getting crazy. Mm hmm. Yep. The policeman won't speak to me. There's nothing else you can click. It requires a key. It requires. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, yes. maybe. <sighs> what the hell? I can't. Jeez. Oh, come on. Yeah. She's escaping. Let me out. Got my notebook back. This is hardly. Th no okay. way. I need to get. Okay. Well. First things first. 
I need to jumpstart my lost augmentations if I'm going to have any chance of defeating Stina. The technology left behind by the Conduit members may have something I can use. This went a uh, pretty interesting direction. Are you there, Sam? I don't hear you. Yes. Ah, okay. Sorry, my thing was up. Oh, shit! <gasps> no, oh, he's gone! Shit. If I hadn't let Cena outsmart me, maybe I could have protected him. Uh, how could you oh. let this happen? Don't uh. you realize how important he is? Okay, Brad. Please don't blame the fuck me your name for is. this, Alex. I'm sorry, darling, but I realized just now what the Conduit are really trying to do. We've been over this. They're trying to create an AI singularity. Not only that, they plan to contain it within the child. To bridge the gap between AI and humans. Oh. oh you might actually be right about that. I, I know I am. That child would have the power to bring me back. Alex, we need to accept what happened. I need to accept what happened. Even if it's possible, it wouldn't really be you. I wish it would, but it wouldn't be you. So you would deny me life just because of your arbitrary definition of what I am? If we're the ones who awaken Huldra, she'd owe us her very existence. Please, it's our only chance. Save the child. And then save me too. Hmm. I have no idea what to think anymore. Looks like the feet. The womb tank looks completely empty. Oh, wait. There's some kind of switch here. Ooh. That looks like a vial of blue. It must have been fed into oh. the fetal fluid. I could try to power up my augs with this vial. But I'll leave it in the cooling unit until I have a way of injecting it. Okay. Rebirth imminent? Mm hmm. Vessel ready. Okay. Wow. Some kind of luck. Looks like this was filled with supplies for caring for a baby. Some are missing. Jeez. Is she gonna go to the nurse? For what? The clinic to see if she can get needles to inject the blue. Rolf's gone. Yeah. You gotta figure, like, she'll run into somebody somewhere if she's a wanted person. Right. Um. Not here. Right? The clinic, yeah. The clinic. adamant and I saw fit not to ask questions makes no difference to me standing guard here or at the train station as long as I can feed my kids at the very least we're less exposed to the weather in here afraid your pretty beard might get all ruffled up <laughs> you see what it's like for yourself color if your face ever matured past puberty ha touche anyway our school teacher here is she expected to like wake up I was informed that she's fully comatose. We are to guard her from the fugitive. Hmm. It's too risky to handle those deputies without my augmentations. Mm hmm.
Okay. You gotta go early. I'm getting yep. tired. Yeah, okay. Sounds yeah. good. Alright. Well, this game's so interesting. I, I really like it. I like how it got weird. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll see if we can play the next couple nights. Alright, sounds good. Alright. 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs>